What's up, guys, and welcome back to Tanninis channel. And as promised, today I will be play testing this customized head gravity MP twenty twenty three. Like from the last video, I play with the stock form, and I think the racket is totally fine, but it lacks some stability and plow through. So I will play test it again with some customization. Basically, I add four gram of lead at three and nine, and uh, to add some twist weight, and hopefully the racket face should be more stable. And I add another eight gram inside the handle inside the butt cap here to make it more head light and increase the static weight to three or five gram from like two ninety five gram. Okay, and this is the result. Uh, the strong weight came up from 318 grams to around 331 gram, and the swing weight went up from 315 to 325 point, or like 10 points higher. The balance goes from 3 points headlight to like 5 to 6 points headlight, very close to the spec of my Blade 98 and my Solingo Whiteout 18 by 20. So if I'm gonna like it, I think I'm gonna like it on this spec. Starting from the baseline, well, my first impression, I gotta say I like it more than on the stock form. The added weight really helps with increasing the stability, like expected. But it doesn't solve the unpredictable shots completely. I think the racket feels a bit firmer, which is good because on the stock form, it feels somewhat like the Wilson Clash in a way, like it flexes too much and it makes the ground strokes a bit inconsistent. Anyway, the racket still feels pretty much the same with the plushness and it's very comfortable to the arms. So if you guys have sensitive arms and want something that is like soothing, uh, very smooth to hit with. Well, the Gravity MP is one of the options that you should be looking at. With the higher swing weight, I can feel that the racket hits heavier for sure, and I can send the ball deep to the baseline very easily, most of the time at least. However, I don't feel like it plows through the ball very naturally like a Gravity Pro. The racket still twists a bit on the follow through probably because the low flex again i don't really understand why they make the mp version more flexy than the pro normally if you're looking at uh, the racket lines from any brands the lighter weight racket tends to be firmer than the heavier racket so it could be stable and have uh, ability to handle heavy ball to the level well, this one is the opposite. On my forehand, I think it's totally fine. I can generate pace very easily. I also can handle heavy ball a lot better than on the stock form. However, I still struggle a bit with rising ball and low ball on the forehand side. On the backhand side, it gets way better. Uh, I normally hit flatter backhand than on my forehand, so the higher weight and higher plow really helps with that. Now it probably feels like 80% of the Gravity Pro on the backhand, which is good enough, because I consider my backhand on Gravity Pro the best. On the power, this customization really increases the power better access to power i think it's even a bit too much for me i found myself hitting long pretty often if i going beyond like 80 percent of my power especially when i want to increase the launch angle as well i think this is because the ratio of power and spin that the racket gives is not very balanced the gravity mp has way more power than the top spin that's why when you want to hit with a more margin of safety with higher launch angle and use the top spin to control the depth it doesn't work all the times also the flex of the racket also make it more difficult to get the feeling whether the ball will get that bite or not so i find that there are so many times that i thought i hit it perfectly with top spin but the ball ended up going way long and i could see that there is almost no rpm on the ball 
I think next time I will strung it probably two to three pounds higher tension to tone down the power. On the spin, well, I think it's the same as on the stock form, which is not good. This racket has just an okay spin, probably a bit below average. You could get it more with your swing, but it's the type of racket that reduces the pace and power of the ball when you try to add more spin. And the ball goes lower and lands shorter in that case. Not really in my type of racket in this category. The control, well, the directional control remains good. I can change the direction of the incoming ball pretty easily. Now I can deal with heavy and deep balls better as well. The issue is still the depth control. I feel like I cannot gauge my power, especially when I'm playing in a match that I tend to put more effort on it than like baseline ground strokes practicing. The control for power is not there. You could easily hit out if you are not aware. And the spin for control is also not there. I find myself hitting long when on the approach shots that I want to put it away and also on some shots that I really need a top spin to make it go over the net. It does not deliver. So for me, I think the racket is not reliable enough and I will not trust it with my life, especially on a serious match play. I know some of you guys would say it's not the racket fault, it's my fault. Well, that's one thing, but I'm saying this as a comparison to so many other rackets that do not have this behavior, if that makes sense. One thing that is the big improvement is the first service. I think it can generate a lot more firepower on flat serve, and on the second serve, speed also increases as well. The service return also improved a bit. Now I can block it back with more stability and confidence compared to stock form that twists too much. Another thing that is an improvement is the backhand slice. Remember, like on the last video, I said every ball just float and fly out. But on this customization, I feel more in control and the racket face does not wobbly as much. In summary, I think the Gravity MP works better with some customization for sure, like this, especially with the LED at 3 and 9. However, do not expect the customization to solve everything, because it will not change the whole world. The character of the racket is still there. I still find it inconsistent compared to other rackets like the Blade Knight, the T-Fight, the E-Zone, etc, etc, especially on the attack. And I don't like this because it makes me kind of doubt myself and it goes against my natural game that I tend to be on the attack more than on the defense. The Gravity MP is an easy racket to play with and very comfortable. However, the spin and control are not the best. Will I switch to this racket? Well, I always wondering if I gonna like the Gravity MP but now it becomes clear to me that I don't like it, so definitely not. But I think I'm gonna keep it in my bag just for, you know, Sunday morning relaxing heating session with my friends. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.